Hello everyone, I'm going to share with you this time on how to edit a video. Um, we encourage many kinds of videos. You can consider creating a classroom or lecture teaching video recording. You can go to the studio, for example, the one at Kate to get yourself video. You can interview a specialist, go for a discussion video, have a self-recording like what I'm using now. I'm using Screencast-O-Matic by the way. Um, then go for a slideshow with video along with narration. So to do this, we can use PowerPoint and um, use the uh, recording video or narrating function. You can go to the field and get yourself recorded just like the artist do it in the field. Uh, as well as the acting, demonstration and demonstration. For the green screen, uh, this is the one similar to the video uh, studio teaching or studio recording. So... Uh, again, please welcome to Kate. We have a green screen uh, studio available. Uh, you can go for a live video with presentation slides, teaching with video and technical help, uh, and, and, and the rest. So here, screencasting is, um, is quite similar to self-recording, as you see. But for self-recording, you may just uh, use a video recorder and do something like a weekly, while for screencast. Uh, using screencast automatic. Uh, uh, as for animation and simulation or 2D uh, 3D models, you have to use Jobo software. So hopefully that will be in another session. So for this time, I'm going to show you on how to edit a video. I have a video ready. Uh, so let's open the video. This is the file. I'm going to demo to you on how to use Movie Maker. So just spot the file and open with Movie Maker. Actually, I did the video just now, uh, but I want to edit it, so I thought of um, demonstrating it here. So, this is the video that I created um, just a few minutes ago. Some parts of it, uh, I want to edit to put in information. So, with Movie Maker, we have several functions. For example, putting title, caption, uh, even credits. So, this credit uh, uh, um, uh, has some predefined uh, information for you to use. You can also do um, another narration on top of this video. So for my case, uh, it's not needed because um, I have already created with a screencast application just now. So here I'm just want to put in some caption. So when you open uh, the video, you will see that the length of the video is quite long, 9, uh, nine minutes and 8 seconds. So there are many kinds of videos. For um, we are encourage videos to be of uh, two minutes. Some videos can be of ten minutes according to the length of the video uh, and the content that you want to present. So as we go along the slide, you will see also here uh, this black line moves together as it progresses in the slide. So this is where we can. Um, identify which part to edit so in my case let's adjust this a bit so easy for us i'm going to add caption here and here so we need to identify the minutes uh, that we want to edit Okay, I'm going to start with putting a title. So, this video will demonstrate, no, demonstration on creating an interactive post presentation with H5P. Okay, just leave it here. That's short and sweet. We can also change the background color. I'm gonna go with let's take green this time. Green, green. All right. There we go. So, uh, what you have changed is already displayed here. So this is how it will progress as we play the video. Next. I'm going to edit a bit here 
and put caption after you log in browse um, get to the title of your course get to the course then next then we can add some more stay here um, go to the go to the chapter we can also change the color of the caption here by editing text. Just can edit text. Just change here. Go to the section. Go edit. Press PDP. And then just do uh, as many uh, changes that you want and then after you're done you can also uh, consider to split the video you can put also visual effects if needed and use animation so your slide will have some uh, animation if it is not needed then you can just skip it You can use these functions to emphasize certain parts in your video. You can edit in the format if you want the video to be enlarged and so on. You can also right click to certain parts. If you want to split or you want to end the video. So if you are using the split function, you can consider to remove the rest of the videos. This is needed uh, if you have unintentionally having a long video and you want to cut it into several sections and doing some edits. I'm not going to do that, so I right click again and move. So if you're moving, you will remove everything. And even for cutting, you will remove also everything. So I'll just undo. Alright. So now we are done. Next is to uh, save this. So just go to uh, File and Save Movie. Here you can have you can use several options. Um, I always take the one uh, that recommends us. So choose where you want it to be saved and just use this name and then press save. So here your uh, movie will be published and you're done.